And here we are in Elaine still. Uh, pretty much midday, so that's north up there. Sun comes up over there at the moment. Maker over there. 85. Ah, oh, and the big yellow anchor. Orange anchor. It's actually uh, stopping the hauler from moving. Because, yeah, certain angles it just wants to pick it up and turn it. Spar sits there and just pivots, but there's no weight pushing down on the actual machine, so it's just its own weight, so get it right and uh, just picks it up and turns it. Yeah. Ah, must be lunchtime. <coughs> Those trees over there, uh, they won't come this way, they'll go over to the grassy knob on the other side with a swing yard or uh, maybe this year, maybe next. So our setting started straight ahead, went to the right, down to there. Would have got those trees but the mill won't let us do manual breaking out, so yeah they got left, otherwise we would have got them all. We swung back round over up there. That back top face above that track was shoveled down, so hit the boulder at the top of the hill, worked it down to there. It's about in line with the trees behind. Shifted the sky and everything over to the back. And then we had to bridle around the corner with the carriage to get some of the last ones, the ones we couldn't get because not enough height to get the carriage over that little spur above the bulldozer there. Manual, bright, <coughs> manual all the way down there with the sky shifts. Still doing it there, and there's actually a cliff face what we had to yeah do, and yeah, it, it, it hasn't been fun. And we got two more machine assists left, and then it's Sydney's nearly finished. We might be finished it next week, hopefully. But these uh, line changes take a long time, and unfortunately, all this ground in front of us was already harvested right down to that edge there, first edge. So, yeah, we've got 50 to 100 metres of dead ground, but we're out, what, 400 metres out over there at the back line, so it's slow going. Um, the back corner over there was 550, I think, so that was a good, good haul out there. And over the back there, up against the skyline, there's another block that's a, another owner of that one there. Um, but they've left trees in there as well, they've obviously too hard to get for some reason. Never mind. We're lucky we see deer running around over there, I know there's some goats over there at the moment. Um, yeah, all the native over there has been sprayed off, it's only Karnaka so, yeah. Who wants the grass more than the, than the scrub. But anyway, we've got one or two more settings left in this forest and then we're out of here. Just gonna do some greasing on this thing. The grease nipples I can't get at the end of the day when it's sitting down on the ground. These things get a hell of a hard life. And this has got the uh, non-standard grapple arm carrier. Um, it's made by work. It's a bit stronger than the uh, EMS ones. It was last time I, uh, the other month I broke one of the uh, tines here, just tore the whole top out of, it, out of it up here, so yeah, that wasn't good. So they gave me a new one. And we got the other carriage up the top there, just sitting there. Uh, changed that over the other day, because this one needed repairs, the motor bolts were coming loose. Ha, <laughs> what a surprise. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment if you want to, or don't. Thanks for subscribing and yeah, generally, cheers bud.